What's going on you guys? This is MXKD. I have another Dell Optiplex 390. This is the mini tower, the upgrades. So you're gonna move the side cover panel, the latch right here. So we're gonna be upgrading now uh, for light gaming now, uh, upgrading the video card, memory, power supply, and from hard drive to solid state drive. Should show you how to do that. So you guys will need a uh, wear latex gloves and you need a Phillips screwdriver and you need a flathead screwdriver. And wear like these gloves if you want, and uh, that's what you need. Okay, so we're gonna start off from the power supply. To do that, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and remove the four screws here in the back. So you can move the four screws in the back. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna disconnect the 24 pin right here from the power supply. See the little clip right here? Would you press your finger like this to release the clip so you can remove the, the 24 pin right here. It's got a secure clip right here, you press on it. Same with the four pin right there. Now disconnect from the optical drive, the power. And you're gonna disconnect from the hard drive right here too. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to move the power supply. To do that, there was going to be a little clip right here. You see the little, little blue right there, the little clip, the secure clip. So you're going to take a screwdriver, you press it down to release the secure clip like this, and you're going to slide the power supply, and it comes right out. And I'm gonna be upgrading guys uh, to MTEC 450 watt. You can go better power supply if you want. And I'm gonna be using the MTEC VP4 450, it's a 450 watt, this will work perfectly. For the GTX 950, it will work perfectly. You don't need anything bigger. And I'm gonna install the power supply just like this. And slides. Now, we're gonna go ahead and connect uh, 24 pin back to the motherboard and you're going to connect the 4 pin now you're going to connect back to up for the optical drive and you're gonna go ahead and connect the uh, since we upgrading the hard drive I'm not gonna connect the power for the hard drive so what you're gonna do is we're gonna remove the hard drive disconnect the SATA cable here and you're gonna go ahead and uh, this little clip right here, take your finger like this and your hard drive slides out and it's got a plastic caddy here and it bends like this, comes right out and I'm gonna be upgrading to another hard drive so here's another hard drive and you're gonna go like this it slides it connects right there, you see the connectors right there and it connects right there to where the holes are at so So we connect it back to the hard drive, now you're going to install it back just like that and connect the SATA and the power. Just like that and you're done. And I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade to solid state drive. To do that, then what you're going to do is disconnect uh, the SATA and power cable, remove the hard drive caddy, plastic, and you're going to disconnect. And uh, so what you guys need is, uh, I'm going to show you 
the heart of the soul stay drive. And what you need is uh, you need to buy the caddy. It's a plastic caddy. They sell this online. I'm gonna get a closer look. You guys, camera can focus. You guys can pause the video. The model of the, it's the pin number is 01MF7D. Again, it's 01MF7D. And this is the part number for the Soul State Drive. The plastic caddy you have to buy. And uh, what you're gonna do is uh, this is what this is what the Soul State Drive is right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this soul stay drive like this and just install it just like that and and it clips right in like that and now you're gonna take the original caddy from the 3.5 inch and you're gonna install it like this Just like that, and you're done. Just install it back and install the SATA and power back to the solar state drive, and you're done. Then, what you have to do is you probably have to get a cable ties and get the wire guy wires all clean, get a cable ties installed, and just to get it, get it tight so it'll be all clean here. And I want to be upgrading guys. Uh, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to be upgrading the VD card and to do that is I'm going to try to move it to this side. There's going to be a latch right here. So we'll take your finger like this and you're going to press on the latch to release the latch right here for the PCI bracket. And to do that, you guys weren't able to see the video. Okay, so I have to lift up the computer. And right there you see a little, it's got a secure clip for the PCI Ex Express Time 16 slot right there too. So to do that is you're gonna take a screwdriver, flathead, and be really careful. You gotta press on the clip right here, the white clip, to release it, and your video card will come right out just like that. See right there? And you can't go underneath, it's gonna be really hard. So you have to do use a screwdriver like this. You see it press on like this to press it down to release it. Secure clip for the PCI Express Time 16 slot right here, the black one. And we install a different video card. I'm going to get, grab the video card quickly because I can't hold it with my hand. Okay, so guys, I'm going to be installing the uh, GTX 950. This is the Asus Mini a single fan video card. I'm going to show you guys the box. And here, yeah, here's the video card right there. You guys can use the same one if you want. And you can use a GTX 950, GTX 960 single fan or GTX 1050. Or GTX 1070 will work perfectly fine. Or GTX 1060. And we're going to do that. There's going to be another PCI bracket you got to remove. Because this is using a two slots video card. It's using two slots. So we're going to install the video card. To do that, they just take this video card. And you're going to install it through PCI Express X16 slot. Just like that. And you're done. And you're going to clip it back in here. The latch. And this this part, this video card does not require a six-pin power connect because it's only uh, up to what is it? it's a low power consumption video card. It only uses it less than 75 watt, so it doesn't require a six-pin. But if it's gonna be like over 100 watt, then it does require a six-pin power. And it's an Asus video card, really good. So you guys, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be upgrading the memory. Let's lift this down and upgrade the memory. And. I'm gonna go with the DDR3 uh, 9ACC and buffer memory. You can use any, bro. I like the Carsa Kingston Crucial. So you're gonna hear two clicks when you install memory properly. And that's four. So it's a total eight gigs that dual channel when installed. But uh, again, you use DDR3 9ACC and buffer memory for a desktop. Uh, Carsair, Crucial, or Kingston, those are top three brands I like. You can use that memory. So you guys, we upgrade the memory, uh, we upgrade the video card from Soul State Drive to from the hard drive to Soul State Drive, and now we're gonna have to install back the screws back for the for the power supply. Be the last part. I'm just gonna have to see if I can switch it over the other side like this. Probably you guys can't see. And install back the screws here.
And I'll show you guys, you guys can use all the different power supply, like a Carsair, pretty good. And a C-Sonic you can use also, really good power supply. C-Sonic is my favorite. And uh, I'll show you guys different power supply you guys can use. So we install screws back. Now what we have to do is uh, flip it the other side like this and we're done. And make sure you guys use cable ties to get the wires tight and clean here. So it'll be like this and it's all gonna be clean. Okay guys, so now we're gonna show you guys the other VD card you can use. You can go with the uh, GTX uh, 950 MSI is a pretty good VD card and I'll show you guys different power supply. The CX uh, 600 works pretty well too. Really good and I, the, the other one I like, this is better, is the CX 650M. This is the modular power supply a lot better. So this is the CX 650M, you can, guys can use that and it's actually a better power supply. So yeah, yeah guys, uh, let me put the side cover back on and you're done. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect the monitor directly to the video card and start the computer. And uh, if you guys got the Windows operating system disk, then install do clean install. But uh, you're gonna connect the monitor directly to the video card. If you run a Windows 10 operating system, then uh, I guess when you do updates, it installs the drivers automatically. But if you run a Windows 7, then you just have to go to NVIDIA.com and get the drivers for it, uh, for, for the operating system you have, and we start the computer for the video card. So yeah, guys, let me put the side cover back on and we're done. So yeah, guys, this is for the Dell Optiplex 390 Mini Tower. Thanks for watching. Bye.